Hello, welcome to the reading room. My name is Sylvie. Today we're going to do a pick a card reading and it's going to be on what is your heart trying to tell you? So timestamps down below. Take your time, choose your group and enjoy your reading and I'll see you there. Hello, group one. Let's see. Oh, we have Archangel Gabrielle. I invite Archangel Gabrielle to bring hope and intuition into my life. So yes, you want to be yourself. You want to be your authentic self. You want to feel good, but also you want to know how to go about it and you want to be guided or you're asking for help. So that's something. But also that you're also protected and you want to know that you're protected, but you know you are protected. And this one says, honor your mystical creative force. So you have a lot um, that you should embrace and bring out, which... Um, seems like it's like kind of you're sort of reserved or it's kind of hidden or uh, may, you just don't know how to express yourself. There's something that's, you know, and your heart is trying to tell you, like, be you, embrace you. Let me see. I'm going to pull a card that represents you, your vibes. I'm going to pull this card. Oh, yeah. Having wishes, succeeding in, in your... Succeeding in your wishes, succeeding in what you're doing, choosing well, having the right path. So those are the things that you're concerned about. Again, being true to yourself and also putting your honesty out there. Your um, dress in white in both cards which is really about being pure and honest, but it's about your choices and who you are and being wise about it. So your heart is really wanting you to be you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out some more cards. Okay, so there's a few things. One is um, enjoy family. Make your family. It's maybe time to have a family, uh, immediate family, that is. Um, also, if you already have children, a husband or a wife or a partner, really embrace them. Take them in. Show them how much you love them. Be true to them. But also, at the same time, introduce yourself because if you've been with them for a while and you've been taking care of them, uh, you haven't showed them the other side that, you know, you could or should. Also, romance, you know, enjoying every moment, taking it all in, feeling great. Also, what you want, you have ideas, put them out there, go learn, go find yourself, uh... You have a specific way that you want to be around your family, friends, loved ones, and also your partner. It's almost like you want to repackage yourself. Your heart is saying you've been there for others. You've shown yourself a certain way. And, you know, you're all about safety. And so not uh, stepping out of the box, not... Uh, showing any uh, sides that might be weird or silly or, um, you know, not quite what they expect. And so you kind of shield yourself and want to stay in that safe zone. But now it's time to express yourself and get out. So I'm going to pull out more cards. What would you tell yourself? So I have two messages. Oh, actually, there's a surprise in there too. So I feel that you should be rethinking. If you had to tell yourself something, if there was a piece of advice, it would be um, rethink about holding yourself back. Rethink about uh, keeping yourself to yourself. Like, why are you holding yourself back? Why are you not expressing who you are? Why are you not sharing who you are? That is something you would tell yourself. Like, well, why? You're a great person, so why don't you put yourself out there? What's holding you back from doing so? And... The other thing is celebrate who you are, celebrate what you want to do, celebrate 
uh, what's out there for you. Celebrate, uh, expand yourself, go for your desires, your wants, your worldly expectations. I don't know. Uh, you, the support's there for you. And so there's no reason to hold back. There's no reason at all. That's the messages you would be giving yourself, the pet talk that you may be giving yourself already. And the other thing is something that you would be surprised by. Is that how strong and powerful you are? How you are wise? How you are someone that others listen to? You have so much more influences on yourself and your surroundings than you even give yourself credit for. And that surprises you because you really don't see it. And that's the pet talk that you would give yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pull out some messages for you. Oh, they come out right away, actually. Okay. Yeah. So it says, allow yourself to release the emotions you have struggled all your life to contain. The biggest risk a person can take is do nothing. Do not give your past the power to define your future. It is the little things in life. Change begins at the end of your comfort zone. Yeah, I felt like it was the comfort zone. Rise above any situation and become the best version of you. Oh, okay. So let's pull some IMs. Huh. I feel like this one. Okay, let's see what the IMs tell us. There's quite a few, but they just want to be there. I am on top of the world. I am enough. I am a powerhouse. I am comfortable when I look in the mirror. I am smiling. I am bursting and overflowing with joy. I am open to love and my heart shows it. All right. Hello, group two. So let's see what we have. Um, we have right here the third eye chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply the wisdom in my life. Mm, you have your intuition is right on. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. But here, uh, things are in the right direction, the right path, feeling good. Celebrate what you have. Enjoy what you have. You know, you, you've done well. And here's overthinking. So you doubt yourself or you um, think too much of what ifs or where you're going or what you're doing. Your heart wants you to tell you that. Celebrate what you have. Celebrate your life. And you know you're doing good. You know you've been in the right places at the right time and things have come in and life is great. So I'm going to pull out some cards. Your vibe of for yourself. Oh, the whole deck's reversed. I'm going to flip that around and there's one more card here. Okay, so... um, Yeah, it's definitely, again, uh, celebrating what you're doing. Your vibes are saying to others is that everything is great, everything is good, and you're definitely enjoying your life and going to the right places, and you're doing what you want to do. And sometimes you need a break, sometimes you need a rest, sometimes you do way too much, but your heart wants to say that that's all good, that's all great. It's okay to need to pull back, it's okay to just jump in, um, just live life to the fullest, and embrace every moment and every step the way you feel like it don't overthink that's the major major point here is don't doubt yourself don't second guess yourself don't go over the scenario in your head this is what i did this is how i said it no <laughs> forget about that just enjoy what you're doing when you're doing it and then relax about it that's uh what your heart is trying to tell yourself, that you're great and what you're doing is great. So um, message to yourself, from yourself, let me see. 
what would you advice would you give yourself? I feel like this one. I feel like this one. So I will take them all. Mm, stress, no stress. Yeah, it's okay to protect yourself and your surroundings and what you want to have protected. For sure, do it. You know, protect everything that you want. But at the same time, rejoice. Just enjoy. Uh, put yourself out there. Live the moment. You can do it in a safe way. It's okay. It, do it your way. That's the thing. And how you are going to be, it's going to be on point on how you want it to be. And that's okay too. This is how you want to live your life. This is how it want, you want it to go. Then go ahead. Do it that way. It's okay as long as you're happy. Yeah, and another thing too, by doing that, by, by doing it the way you want, when you want, how you want, feeling safe when you're doing something, like whatever it is in your life that you feel that you need to have set up in a certain way to be able to do more, and or to do it in a in a safe way, it's okay. But once it's done, don't overthink it. Once it's done, let it go. Just rest. Enjoy what you did. Enjoy the moments. Enjoy what happened. Like, mm, don't go back on it. That's the only thing. But planning it and setting it up in a certain way and doing it in a comfortable uh, way that you would normally do things, that's all good. Go ahead. That's sort of releases all the stress of your life and and brings in all this happiness that you uh, can embrace right so that's the message okay so i'm going to pull out some cards for you some and more messages for you oops this one says don't forget to fall in love with yourself first Worry, it's like walking around with an umbrella waiting for the rain. I feel like it's these two. Change begins at the end of your comfort zone. Be true, be patient, and be faithful. This one too. I don't know, I don't feel like shuffling. I feel like they just want to come out. Have this one too. It says, uh, prove yourself to yourself and not others. If we were meant to stay in one place, we would have roots instead of feet. Okay. Everything has changed, yet I am more. Hmm. Do not give your past the power to define your future. And that is this card here. Absolutely. When it's done, it's done. Don't even think about it anymore. It's a huge one, this one. Okay, so I want to pull out a few I am's for you. I am someone who forgives themselves. I am in charge. I might put that here. I'm not sure if the light's shining on it. I am right now on cloud nine. I am open to love and my heart shows it. All right. Hello, group three. So let's see what we have here. Um, the sun goddess. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energy of the sun. Yes, things are great. Look at that. And you're also being guided and protected. You have the yellow dragon that's just there for you. Shining, bringing you the sunshine. Showing you the height of the happiness that you can have. This is great. Also, here is uh, your path, how you're going about things, where you're going, what you're doing is great. So you're putting out the vibe that you're going to manifest uh, what you want, but you feel lucky for some reason or, or luck is in, around you or you feel. Mm, and the thing is, yeah, there's a bit of luck around you for sure. And yes, things are flowing for sure, but also your karma is good. And here it shows how can you feed others when your own table is empty. And there you go, by karma. You've been given so much to others. And now it's time for you. That's what it is. It's, it's your 
heart is telling you, wait a minute, what about me? <laughs> take care of me, you know? And so, yeah, you need to take care of yourself for sure. And you must be uh, having that nagging feeling uh, to do something for yourself. Be happy. Of course, you're happy with everything that you have. But, you know, you need to take care of yourself too. I feel like giving out to others makes you happy. Also, it's not like you, it's not like you have to stop doing that. Mm, it's a hard decision, hard choices. You have to give up something so you can um, do something for yourself. But for some reason, you feel like you can't give up or you can't stop. Like the need to help others seems to be greater. Like it seems like if you don't help them, then something tragic is going to happen. No, you know. So let's uh, address that. Yeah, so when it comes to um, doing things for yourself, you know, it's you have to start. You have to start with, with pro-action. So... Um, do something doesn't matter what it is just start it do it um, definitely I know it's new I know it's uh, something that you normally don't do um, but take it take time out even if you don't know how even if it's hard for you because it seems to be like you're so much into others and helping others that um, you really don't know how to stop and you feel like if you do then things are going to go wrong and actually no life will go on i mean you know if you're not there somebody else will be there or they'll take care of themselves you know it's okay lose control on that part of life like let them have their control let them have their things it doesn't have to be a whole time but some and then you take some for yourself that's what your heart is trying to tell you like it's time for you so a message from you to you from your future self what would you tell yourself today right now okay so what yourself is saying that you know, if you keep going like that, the depression's just going to set in. Like you're not seeing the good that you could be doing other than what you're doing. And you're going to feel miserable about that, about not doing something for yourself. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like you're, you're becoming, um, empty and you need to like snap out of that. Like you need to take care of that, take care of your, yourself and throw yourself into what you want because, um, yeah, you know, you're going to end up being so stressed from the fact that you did not do something for yourself later. So you might have something specific, actually, that you put in the back burner or you thought you'd never get to it or or it just maybe is silly. I don't know. But yeah, they're saying do it. Do what you needed to do and um, jump in. Like, really, it's time now. Your heart is telling you to take care of yourself and don't worry so much about uh, others or don't worry so much about uh, you don't have an idea how to get going. Just start. It's just the beginning that's a little tough. And then you'll realize how wonderful it's going to be. It's all lit in front of you. Your happiness for yourself is in front of you. Okay, message for you here. To stay, if we were meant to stay in one place, we'd have roots instead of feet. Live your dreams and take a risk. Or take a risk. Take risk. Seasons change and so do we. Be like a flower. Survive to the rain, but use it to grow. Oh, these two. The biggest risk a person can take is to do nothing. Allow yourself to release the emotions you have struggled all your life to contain. Ooh. 
All right, so I'm going to pull another one, some I am's for you. I am free. That's something that you need to do free yourself up. I am bursting and overflowing with joy. I am comfortable when I look in the mirror. I am present and aware. I am on top of the world. I am a positive and open person. I am someone who believes. So I'll leave you there.